In the thrum of a drum lays the essence of us. The rhythm of our hips mouths a bellowing call, and identity that cannot be muted by the static of silence. Listen to us. The music beckons you forward and it rushes you into a world of no inhibition. You cannot calm the thunder of our dancing feet. Our freeness captures the spirit beyond what you can see. The sound of city cannot be stunted. And as we move to our music, our hips mouth the bellowing call, listen to us. Our students are writing about Chuck Brown being the godfather of go-go music and how go-go music goes so far deeper than just the music itself. Uh, go-go music actually helps to build and sustain the black community. So in our class, we read articles and watch uh, videos, and then we have great conversations about not just the music genre, but um, how go-go music is one aspect of activism that black communities and communities of color have used uh, in order to raise our voice and say to DC and the rest of the country that hey we are here and we are solid and we are a strong community our families are strong etc so when many people think about go-go music they think only about the music itself and how much fun it is to dance to it but the roots of go-go music and its purpose is so much deeper than that DC representation, shit from my nation, so we lost all, all our foundation. The Organic Act, that was its name, but, but the, the treatment, treatment it, it was, was still, still the same. same. The years passed by, it was a bumpy ride, Virginia wouldn't last, so they thought it was a lie. Lie, what's next? 1870, Organic Act came with the new remedy. remedy. And something very interesting that my second semester GoGo students have done is they were assigned to create a 3D GoGo music presentation. So we looked at lots of uh, video footage and still shots of GoGo concerts. Uh, the, one of the major asks that I had in everybody's presentation was that Chuck Brown's presence, his face, had to be a part of every GoGo scene that was established because, as I mentioned, he is the godfather of go-go music. So we are having a ball. What is your name and what year did you graduate in? My name is Michael Hill and I'm of the class of 1988. Uh, I was a vocal music major here, uh, but I also played piano for a lot of the students in uh, shows and things of that nature. Ellington allowed me to be exposed to go-go uh, because we had students here who played uh, in go-go bands and uh, I gleaned from them. Uh, I was exposed to go-go before coming to Ellington. Uh, at the age of 13, I was a part of a band called Mother's Band and Show, which was headed by Betty Green, who is known as the grandmother of go-go. My biggest go-go inspirations are uh, Chuck Brown, uh, Betty Green, uh, Cherie Mitchell, also known as Sweet Cherie. She was one of my classmates here at Ellington. Uh, and uh, LaShawn Dandy. Uh, we, we, we call her Shawnee Baby. She's uh, a, a drummer as well. So uh, those are great uh, inspirations uh, that I've had. I was a vocal major here. However, I play piano. Um, so piano is a home for me as an instrument, but as far as versatility and the ability to, to do a wide array of things, the keyboard uh, is a, a real strong place for me. What do you think about women in go-go and how do you think they contributed to the genre? Oh, women in go-go, that's all I've been exposed to. Betty Green, who um, we call the grandmother of go-go, uh, she started a band in order to um, keep her kids you know, safe from the streets. So she had two daughters, one sang in the band, the other played trumpet in the band. Um, women in go-go, um, 
they have um, just as much to to give to the genre as the men do. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. Y'all ever heard that song before? Yes. Well, that song came from Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. That's one of the first jazz songs I play. So when you hear Chuck Brown, look at the title and pull it up and see uh, uh, Moody's Move for Love. All of that stuff are jazz standards that he took and a go-go beat and there he went. So the foundation that he laid is one of, me, of great musicianship and uh, so as you listen to a Chuck Brown song you are hearing uh, a well put together thought out song not just something he just threw together. I have noticed that there are go-go songs that are being played on the radio that are not DC based you know when you hear things like Salt and Pepper and Dougie Fresh and things like that they're playing it's go-go but when it comes to maybe DC artists, DC go-go artists, they don't get the airplay um, pretty much. They don't get the fruit of their own, you know, labor. Mayor Bowser uh, dubbed DC the uh, go-go, the music of DC. What was Mayor Barry's relationship? Well, I don't know if you've all seen pictures of Marion Barry and Chuck Brown, but they were two peas in a pod. And uh, Marion Barry uh, respected the genre. He loved the genre of go-go. And uh, it was, it's the vibe that go-go brings everyone together. So whenever Marion Barry put on events that needed the community to come together, you could rest assured that people like Chuck Brown was there and it just, it just became a natural thing. A storm is coming to this concrete jungle. It wants to flood and destroy the heart of Chocolate City, filled with angry men and women who want a different hood. The beat of DC will never stop. Washingtonians will not be misunderstood. Go ahead and write your ugly letter. Plead your screwed and deceitful case to the pigs. Call the mayor and gather your kids. The beat may be muffled by murmurs and the white seas rumble. It may even stumble, but it will rise again. So put up your white fence, turn brick into gray concrete, and try to muffle our hearts. We'll pick up our defense. Play Chuck Brown so loud that Baltimore and Arlington will dance. Humble the gentrifiers who expect respect after disregarding our culture and music that separates us from the rest. Some people just don't understand the struggle, what it took to get go-go here. But that's okay. As more and more bands start to rise, it's too late to let the colonizers apologize. We'll let the natives decide. Because as long as we know our history, go-go will stay alive. I feel that when people come to D.C., they should hear the music of D.C.